TPC are ready to worship the Lord today. He's worthy. Would you stand with me? What a God we serve. I'm so excited that you're in the house of God today. You may be seated. Thank you for bringing your worship to the house of God. For those that are watching online, welcome. We have come to praise him. I believe that is the sole reason why you are here today. And it's so good to see everybody in the house of God. Eric, Tara, good to see y'all. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Got a few announcements I want to share with you today. North American Youth Congress, it, it, as difficult as it, as it was, they had to make the decision because local uh, entities were not really working with them in dealing with COVID restrictions because considering North American Youth Congress was going to be about 40,000 people descending upon one location, uh, they couldn't have it where they were scheduling this year, so they are going to do a live stream version of that. We are going to live stream NAYC, North American Youth Congress, this Friday night from 7 uh, to 9 p.m. here at the church. So if you're at all interested in coming and having church on Friday with many other people all across the world uh, here at our location, we're going to be live streaming NAYC from 7 to 9. Um, and so we look, at this, look forward to seeing you then. Also, uh, has anybody seen flamingos around town? Because I've seen us flocking a few people. 
And so if you don't know what the flocking flamingos are, is that you basically, you, you pay a little money and you can have your friends flocked in which we completely fill their yard up with fl pink flamingos. And uh, it's kind of a surprise to them. They're like, what in the world is going on? And it's kind of a fundraiser thing that we're doing. So if you're at all interested in doing that, please fill out a work order online or pick up one in the foyer. Talk to Sister Alexis. She can help and direct you in how to get that done. So flock your friends. All right. That's all I'm going to say about it. We got a revival that is coming up. You don't want to miss this. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, August 13th, 14th, and 15th. Uh, Friday night is going to be our back-to-school rally, so it's not just going to be us, Moberly folks. It's going to be everybody in Section 11 descending upon our location, so we're going to need all hands on deck. We're going to have chairs down the aisle. We're probably going to have extra chairs up front just to accommodate everybody. Uh, because Brother Ryan Near is going to be with us Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now, I don't know how, you may not know this, but Brother Near and his wife have taken a church in Colorado. And so they are moving into, from the evangelistic field into the pastoral realm. And, uh, and so I don't know if this is the last time we're going to have this guy, so you just need to come and soak up all the brother near you can. And, and I know he's going to bring the anointing with him. He always does. He does a great job. Our offering designation today is for our building fund. Uh, the building fund is, a, is an important fund. Uh, it keeps our lights, uh, bulbs in place. It helps with the grounds and maintenance and, and everything that we do. I do have to say thank you to Brother Stephen Williams, who uh, does such a fantastic job in keeping our lawn mowed this year, and he does a great job at that. I got one more thing I want to give to you, and um, actually, Jess, you got, yeah. I thought you were really going to throw it. Okay. Right here, this is a water bottle. And we are talking about this year about worshiping the Lord with what three things? Mind, our, body. our mind. Yeah, those three things that we are made up of, which is our mind, our body, and our spirit. And if we will actively pursue and aim at becoming the best that we can be for the Lord, we also become the best that we can be for our spouses, for our families, for our people we work with. And so in those three areas, I believe that we can absolutely change our lives, change the atmosphere of our homes, change the atmosphere, atmosphere of our schools, just by simply pursuing perfection in those three areas, mind, body, and spirit. And so in the month of August, we, this, this, we, this month, let me get it all out. This month in the month of July, we have focused on the mind. So we are moving into August and we're going to go back to the body. And one thing that the body needs to survive is water. And we are offering a water challenge to you in the month of August. And so we wouldn't challenge you without giving you a little help. So we have for you right after service in the south room, we have water bottles uh, similar to this. We have all types of different colors to choose from. And if you are wanting to participate in our water challenge with us this year, we invite you after service, no charge to you, just pick up a bottle and we're going to ask you to help us in our water challenge. What is the water challenge? Well, the Institute of Medicine recommends that a person drink at least 74 ounces or half your body weight in water every single day. <laughs> Some of you just said... You just checked out. Don't check out. Come on, aim at it. Just aim at it. Get your scope on your rifle. Let's come on. We can aim at this. We can do this. Drink half your body weight in water every day. I'm challenging everyone to drink some water. Is that right? Is that fair enough? Now, you may not be able... I, so... This is a 22 ounce bottle. If you drink three of these a day, that's 66 ounces. That's pretty close to 74. And if you're a small frame person, then you probably don't even need to do that to reach your half, half your body weight in ounces. Drink half your body weight in ounces. Did I leave off the ounces? No wonder everybody was freaking out. It's the little things that matter. 
half your body weight. <laughs> That's so funny. Half your body weight in, yeah, because you're not drinking that, that many pounds of water. That's a lot of water. Half your body weight in ounces. Let's clarify. Everybody okay? Half your body weight in ounces. All right. And for some of us, it may be a challenge, if you're not a water drinker, to just drink one of these a day. And so, that's fine. Put your aim at one. But by the time we get to August 31st, let your aim be three. You see what I'm saying? So let's, let's challenge ourselves, but let's, let's also make our goal not so way out there, pie in the sky goal that we can never attain it. So if you need to start out with one bottle a day, do one bottle a day. And once you get to that one bottle a day, maybe do a bottle and a half or two bottles. You know what I'm talking about. And the reason I'm saying that is that we also need to consider that this is a form of consecration unto the Lord because we're talking about mind, body, and spirit. And so your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so I'm curious to see what benefits are going to come to us if we would just kind of cut back on a little bit of the sugar drinks and, and the coffee and all that kind of thing and just focus on giving ourselves bodily to the Lord by just simply consecrating ourselves through drinking of water. And so that is our water challenge this month. Uh, those are available to you in the South class and pick those up after service. Sister Susie, come help us out. Ounces, people, ounces. Um, this month or this week, we're going to finish out praying through our story of Elijah that was found in 1 Kings 19. And this week, we are praying that anyone who is struggling would know that they are not alone. And maybe you find yourself in this situation, or maybe you know of somebody who's really struggling with loneliness, and they feel like there's nobody else out there to help them. Um, and in the story of Elijah, we see that he's telling the Lord, I am the only one left. Have you ever felt like that? Lord, I'm the only one in my school. I'm the only one in my workplace. I'm the only one in this community. I'm just the only one. You feel so alone. And the Lord had an amazing response for him. And he said, yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel. He thought he was all alone when in fact there were 7,000 other believers who were standing with him and he didn't even know it. So if you feel alone today, we want to ask that the Lord would minister to you to know that you are connected connected to this body of believers and to a body of believers all across the globe. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. His angels are with you. And there are people, physical people, who are standing with you as well. So we want to pray for that this week. And then we want to pray for some specific needs this morning. We want to pray for Sarah Esslinger, who wanted to be here this morning. She's watching with us online. Um, she fell down some stairs this past week and bruised her tailbone, so she's been in a lot of pain. We want to pray for her. And then she also asked if we would remember her this coming Thursday and Friday, the 29th and 30th, um, hopefully the final trial um, with her children. So we want to just cover those days for her. We want to pray for Justin Bond this morning. Um, he has a surgery coming up this Thursday on the 29th, so please remember him. Um, his mom texted me this morning and asked if we would pray for Justin. Um, want to remember Marilyn Lee suffering from COPD. Want to continue praying for the Nickerson family that the Lord would minister to them. And then we want to pray for Wanda Pruitt, who is pregnant and in the hospital with COVID. And they're thinking that there might be something wrong with the baby's liver. So we just want to cover Wanda and this baby. And um, if you have a need this morning, if you're watching online, please feel free to put that in the comments. And then if you would, let's stand together and just take these needs to the Lord. Let's pray right now. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, because you are so good. You see exactly what we need. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can trust you. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our all-sufficient sacrifice and that in you is everything that we need. You are our healer. You are able to carry us. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for speaking good things over us today. 
Lord, I'm asking you to touch Sarah today, Lord. I thank you for ministering healing to her body. Lord, you know what happened when she fell and you were able to correct it. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for covering her in every way. Lord, touch this trial on Thursday and Friday. Lord, I thank you for giving her favor and for finishing what has been started. Lord, I thank you for favor surrounding her on every side. Lord, we lift Justin up to you this morning. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are his healer. I thank you, Lord, for guiding the doctor's hands. Lord, touch the surgeon. Touch the staff, Lord Jesus. Keep and protect him. Cover him, Lord Jesus. Let him know you as his healer, Lord Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, because you are in charge. Lord, touch Marilyn today and the Nickerson family and Wanda Pruitt. Lord Jesus, you know just what they need and you are able, O oh God, to show yourself strong and mighty on their behalf. Lord, I thank you for doing the miraculous. I thank you for raising people up. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the answer that we need. Lord, we give you all of the glory. We magnify your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing us and responding to your people. We love you and praise you, Lord Jesus. Can we just clap our hands to the Lord right now? Lord, you are wonderful. We love you, Jesus. We praise your name because you are worthy. Worthy is your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. How we love you, Jesus. And all. 